It was happening again. Piper looked up at the tree branches, crisscrossing the patio area of the coffee shop, and rubbed her thumbs into the pressure points on the back of her hands in anticipation of a headache. She simply refused to witness whatever arrogant facial expression her now ex-boyfriend was wearing. If her emotions were as unforgiving as her lack of spatial awareness, they would compound and spill out in the form of rage. Unfortunately, her pent-up anger would probably just fizzle out while she ate ice cream later, and she would never think about Todd White again. If she could just blow up once, maybe word would get around campus and shitty guys would stop lining up to declare their feelings for her just to snatch them back a few months later. But she couldn't fucking do it. It was blatantly clear that she was doomed to forever be the pleasant girl whom everyone could rely on for a smile. If she didn't, it would only take someone two seconds flat to tell her she looked prettier when she did. Are you even listening to me, P? Todd interrupted Piper's train of thought with the nickname she had always hated. It had initially been a joke, like, ha ha, the first letter of your name is also a word for urine. But Todd continued to use it relentlessly, always laughing and acting as though it were a term of endearment or some inside joke between the two of them. As usual, she went along with it. Why rock the boat? I'm listening. Piper offered Todd a tight smile. Good. The undertone of his response said there should have been a girl at the end of his praise. If Todd was expecting her to stick out her tongue and wag her tail for a compliment, he would be a bit disappointed. Sorry, I didn't bring my leash today, Piper thought. Being a pushover didn't mean Piper enjoyed degradation. It just meant she frequently let her opinions fall by the wayside and carefully chose which battles she fought, most of which just happened to be on behalf of other people, not herself. So you understand why we have to go our separate ways? You're a smart girl, so I'm sure you knew this wasn't going to last forever. Todd got up from his seat and shrugged down at her. The way her exes always acted like Piper had somehow misinterpreted the relationship was beyond frustrating. There wasn't much to misinterpret when Todd had said, verbatim, I want to spend all my time with you and best sex of my life. That was why when the guys Piper dated dumped her like used trash, claiming to have never felt a thing, she always swore up and down that she would be the dumper the next time. Yet here she was, sitting in a public place, staring up at an ex who was just like the others after she'd wasted the entire summer with him. The words, it was fun, but I don't see much of a connection anymore, were still ringing in her ears. And really, she couldn't blame him. It wasn't like she was in love with Todd. She had tolerated him at best, 